On Wednesday, April 18th, the 5th Armored Brigade Equal Opportunity Office hosted a Days of Remembrance observance, commemorating and honoring the memory of the victims of the Holocaust. Fifth Armored Brigade Commander Colonel Paul Garcia was in attendance and said a few words of gratitude for all those who participated in the event. Just the amount of work it takes to put, uh, put this event on. I'll start off first by saying thank you to Sergeant First Class Calderon. Where's she at? Here, sir. There you are. You're right there in the back. So let's give her a round of applause, right? Um, there's a lot of work that goes into this, as you can see. The community comes together for this event. So uh, Rabbi uh, Zeidman here. Thank you for coming down, Rabbi. Appreciate your time. Additionally, I want to, I want to thank uh, Miss Lori Shepard. She is the director for the El Paso Holocaust Museum. And in addition to the other Fifth Armor teammates that uh, provided support for all this, again, it's not lost on me the work that goes on behind the scenes to make an event like this happen. So thank you. The invocation and benediction were given by Rabbi Ben Ziedman, who is the rabbi at Temple Mount Sinai, located in El Paso, Texas. Gathered in this room are incredible Americans who have committed themselves to the ideals of our country. May we each be blessed with the courage to hear the voices of the past, to heed the lessons offered by those who have suffered, and to take part in ensuring they have not died in vain. Children from the El Paso Jewish Academy sang Ani Ma Amin, a traditional Jewish song and prayer attributed to Azriel David Fostag, who reportedly wrote the song while being taken to the Treblinka concentration camp in a cattle car. The keynote speaker was Mr. Guy Hauptman, a Holocaust survivor, who recounted his harrowing story of escape and survival from the Nazis during World War II. One of the things I really want you to remember is that six million Jews were killed during the five years between 1940 and 1945. Out of that, one and a half million children were also killed during that time. NCOs from the 5th Armored Brigade participated in a candle lighting ceremony honoring the victims of the Holocaust. For the 5th Armored Brigade Public Affairs Office, this is Staff Sergeant Felix Mena reporting.